Hi foodie friends, I'm Jessica Ann with Savory Experiments and today we are making 15 bean instant pot soup. It is super easy, it is basically a dump and go and you get delicious dry beans done in just 45 minutes, which would usually take overnight if you were gonna soak them. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our channel so you get our delicious recipes every single Wednesday when they come out. We are going to start this by sauteing up some vegetables. If you are short on time, you can buy all of these pre-chopped at the grocery store, but I generally already have them in my fridge. About a tablespoon of olive oil or butter, and we've got this set on the saute function. One of the things that I love about the Instant Pot is that I don't have to use a separate pan to saute things. I can do it right in the pot. You know me and dirty dishes, I load them. We've got one small yellow onion, you already hear that sizzle, some carrot, celery, and garlic. All of which are basically the bases for every soup recipe ever. We don't need these to be fully soft because we are going to cook it too, but I do want them to be fragrant and a little bit brown because we know that brown only adds loads of flavor and especially in soups when you want that brown to give more flavor to the broth while it cooks. This will take about three to four minutes. Okay, as these start to brown, and soften and smell amazing, we are going to add our base. I'm using a low sodium chicken broth. You could also use a low sodium vegetable stock if you'd like. It's about seven cups, give or take a little bit. I am going to add, that's nice. I am gonna add about one and a half of these pre-made stocks. You can use bouillon if you'd like, that's fine too. I'm totally eyeballing seven cups or about a half. It doesn't have to be exact. And one packet of dried beans. 15 bean dried soup is lentils and beans, a whole bunch of different kinds. I can't even name all these beans. I see some navy beans, some kidney beans, some green lentils, all sorts of goodness, some small black beans. Every brand is different. This one is the Goya brand. Many of them also come with a little seasoning packet. Make sure you take that seasoning packet out before you put the dried beans in. Dried beans can take overnight to 24 hours to soften before you cook them, but the Instant Pot will make them nice and creamy in just 45 minutes. That's a win for me. So I take that little seasoning packet that was in your bean soup and I throw it in the garbage. You know why? It is way too salty. I'd much rather make my own mix and it's super easy. You probably have everything except for one ingredient already in your pantry. So we've got two teaspoons of coarse kosher salt. Okay. Two dried bay leaves. These add kind of a peppery effect, a little bit of earthiness to it. One teaspoon of dried oregano. Come on, oregano. Come on. Oh, okay. Keeping teaspoon of dried oregano. It's okay. Oregano is delicious. And a half a teaspoon of celery salt. Okay, that's a little bit too much celery salt. I'm just gonna do that. Okay, perfect. And freshly ground pepper. About a half a teaspoon of this as well, which I am eyeballing. Okay. The last ingredient here is the secret weapon. It is called liquid smoke. If you have never tried liquid smoke before, it has an amazing hickory flavor and essence to it that makes it smell like you have been smoking this soup all day long. You only need a couple of dashes, little goes a long way. If you want it to be super hickory, you could add a little bit more, but don't do that until you've played with the ingredient first. Okay, everything's in. Give it all a stir just so that it's equally combined because all of those flavors, including the herbs and salt and pepper and liquid smoke, are going to absorb into your beans, giving them flavor instead of just soaking them in plain old water. Okay, put the lid on. I'll do that in a minute. You're gonna lock it, seal it, and set it to high manual pressure for 45 minutes. I'll see you back then. Hi foodie friends. So this has been cooking for about 45 minutes. I did a quick release, let all of the steam out. 
the smell of my entire kitchen smells like warm comfort food, but it's not done yet. So the beauty of this soup is you can use no meat at all and keep it vegetarian, or you can add some meat, cooked meat. Right now I've got diced ham. I did brown this up a little bit just to really give it a little bit more flavor. I also like sausage or grab a cooked rotisserie chicken from the grocery store, shred it and throw it on in. Leftovers work well and so does ground beef, ground turkey or ground chicken. So I've got my ham here. If you want a lot of protein, just add more. It really is whatever you want to make it. I have a can of stewed tomatoes. These don't have any flavor in them and they're petite diced. If you like tomato flavor, add the whole can. Don't worry about draining it. I love tomato. I just think about it as more veggies. Dump that right on in. And this is my other secret ingredient. It is apple cider vinegar. We are going to do one to two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. Any kind of acid or citrus brightens up a soup and sauce when added right at the end. So here we go. We're gonna do one and two. Give it a quick, oop. Give it a quick stir. I'm gonna use my ladle here. And the residual heat from the soup is gonna be enough to warm those couple of items up super quick. Make sure you pick out your bay leaves. You don't want anybody getting that special bay leaf, although some people believe it is lucky in their soup bowl. And you are ready to serve. Let's ladle it. Okay, we're just gotta serve. All we gotta do is ladle some into the bowl here. This is a hearty, stick to your bones kind of soup. It smells amazing. I do not suggest freezing this soup. And the reason is, is that the beans don't always defrost to the right consistency or original creamy texture that they had when you cooked it the first time around. They'll get a little bit mushy. It's not horrible, it still tastes good. It doesn't look as pretty, but I still don't like it. I like my soups to look pretty. I'm gonna top this one off with a dollop of sour cream. You can also use a plain Greek yogurt and a little fresh crunch and a little fresh green with some scallions, you know me and onions, I'm gonna add probably a little bit more than the rest of the world would, but you know, I used to eat scallions as a child, like kids eat carrot sticks. So there you go, foodie friends. We've got our Instapot. 15 bean soup all ready to go, smelling wonderful, and it's snowing outside here, so it's gonna be perfect lunch for me. From my kitchen to yours, have a great day.